Hello, everybody. Good evening. Welcome to this is the first class of August, even though it is August 23rd. So sometimes that happens. I'm really glad that you're here. If you're just tuning in at a later date, you're like, it's not August. Um, you're right, it's not August. Uh, this practice is going to be 45 minutes long. It's focused on the outer hips and the lower back. So both bringing some additional strength and stability to those areas and spending some time just giving them some love, stretching them out, working out the tension. So I feel like no matter if you sit all day or stand all day, your hips and lower back are probably appreciative of a little extra attention. So if you have two yoga blocks, there are options for practice today. Oh my gosh, look who came to join us. Look at her, hey buddy, uh, that's donkey. Um, if you have two yoga blocks, they are not going to be mandatory, but you might find them helpful um, and supportive in some of the poses we're doing. If you don't have yoga blocks for today, two large mixing bowls, like turned upside down, could work. Um, or maybe you have a water bottle, even just one big water bottle that you can kind of like put your hand on. Um, Grab a yoga strap too. We may or may not get to the exercise that uses the strap. Uh, you could also grab a dog leash or a scarf or a belt. So we got two blocks and a strap. If you like to follow along to the playlist, I'm gonna press play right now. We don't need to be perfectly synced up. It's just kind of a little vibe to guide you through your practice. And we're gonna get started laying down on our back in reclined bound angle pose. This might be a place that you enjoy having some blocks. Bring the bottoms of your feet to touch and let your knees fall open. And then you'll lay your back down. If you have those blocks or your mixing bowls or even a water bottle, this is a lot of uh, opening for the, the hips already. You can do two things. One is bring your feet further away from your body. So you're like decreasing the angle of your hips. Um, the second, if that angle feels good, but you just need a little more support is stick your props underneath kind of the backs of your thighs. This way, when you lay all the way down, your low back is supported, your hips are supported, but we're still encouraging a sense of opening across the front body. You might rest your hands, palms down, resting somewhere on your body if you need a little bit of calming and grounding. If you're looking to receive some energy, rest your hands, palms facing up. This is just a gesture of willingness to receive. Give yourself a couple big, Slow breaths here, allowing yourself to arrive. Letting whatever came before start to float away. Not worrying about whatever's coming next, just being here. You might find yourself making some audible sighs as you exhale, inviting a feeling of letting go. Relax your whole body here, allowing yourself to rest and unwind and release tension. Start by relaxing the eyes, softening all the muscles around each of your eyes, making space in the jaw. Relaxing any grip in the throat, feeling your shoulders from the inside out. Heavying your elbows. Relaxing around your heart space. Tracing the line of your spine down to your hips, allowing the hips to be heavy and soft. Softening both of your legs, allowing the muscle just to rest, no effort. 
As you continue to breathe and welcome yourself into this space, notice any sensations of aliveness moving through your body. You might sense a tingling or a pulsing in your feet or in your fingertips. Take about three more big, slow breaths, drawing your awareness inward, noticing that aliveness, sharpening your focus on this present moment. And if this is what you really need, you can pause this video and just continue resting here. If you're ready to start to move a bit, you can keep your legs as they are. Bring your hands to rest back of your hands along the ground. We'll do some snow angels to bring some movement through the chest. So as you inhale, swipe your hands along the ground, reach them up and overhead, big stretch, long through the fingertips. And as you exhale, still sliding the back of your hands down, keep your arms as long as you can as you bring your hands back down towards your hips. So we're just drawing a big circle around the body, inhaling to reach out and back and up. And exhaling, big wingspan, hands come back to the hips. Do two more of those all on your own. Nice job. When you're done with your second one, you have props underneath your legs. You can move them off to the sides. Close your knees up like a book. Hug your knees in towards your chest. Find a little movement here, just rocking along the lower back. This might be the first moment that you notice any tension through the low back or the outer hips. Maybe this little massage feels nice. Maybe hugging the knees up towards the chest is actually like too much for the back if you're feeling really tight. So no need to push it. We're just kind of exploring what we're showing up with. Just continue to find a little organic movement here that feels good, still breathing with intention. And a reminder that everything I offer today is optional. So. If something feels weird in your body or you want to go back to something that felt really good from earlier, please do your own thing as needed. I'll offer lots of options for the shapes that we practice so you can find what feels best in your body today. But when you're ready, bring your feet back down onto the ground, knees up towards the sky. And we'll do some pelvic tilts here. These are really good for the lower back. They help Relieve, ten relieve tension and just bring healthy alignment to the pelvis. Um, they're also just like great for body awareness. Like what is the pelvis doing? So as you inhale, we're gonna tilt the pelvis forward. So this makes the back pop up off the ground, maybe enough to slide a finger or even a hand underneath. And then as you exhale, rock the pelvis the other way. This is like squishing a blueberry under your lower back. And you might feel your core gently cinch inward hugging in. So again, as you inhale, rock your pelvis forward, face underneath the low back. You might feel a stretch through the low back. You might not. And as you exhale, tuck your tailbone, squish your low back to the ground, hug your core up and in. Continue to rock like this, move slowly. Notice any sensations you feel maybe more through your right, sit bone or your left sit bone or the little SI joints at the back of the pelvis. If this movement feels challenging because this area feels really tight, you might revisit this uh, maybe when you wake up in the morning or before you go to bed. It really doesn't take much attention to start to make a little bit more space and ease through the lower back. Let's do Three more rounds of this.
Awesome, Dov. When you're all done, hug your knees back into your chest. Just one more moment here to check in. Notice if you observe any shift in the way the lower back, the outer hips feel. And then bring your feet back down to the earth. We'll do some bridge pose. So you've felt your pelvis tipping forward. You've felt it tucking under, tipping back. Find what feels like a neutral alignment to you. So not trying too hard to do either of the two, maybe a little bit of space under the back. Bring your palms to rest down on the mat. Push your feet into the earth. As you inhale, use the strength of your legs to lift your hips up and then hold and breathe here. This isn't about getting your hips as high as you possibly can. We wanna stay as neutral as possible through the spine and through the pelvis and just breathe here. Feel your feet pressing down into the earth. Feel your hamstrings lighting up to support you. Glutes are working. If you notice that your rib cage is like really reaching up, really open, see if you might draw the rib cage in, kind of corseting through your core. Starting to feel a little bit of heat building through the glutes, through the thighs. Option to keep your hands where they are, or you might, for a little shoulder opening, inhale, reach them back overhead or up any amount. And as you exhale, lower your hands and one vertebrae at a, spine, at a time, lower your spine down. Let's roll with the breath. Inhale, lift the hips. Option to reach the arms up. And exhale, controlled all the way down, keeping your pelvis in your neutral alignment. Let's do three more. Inhale, nice and slow. And exhale. Two more, inhale. Notice your outer hips hugging in to support you, keeping your hips stable here. Exhale, lower. Last one, you got it, inhale. And exhale all the way down. Last time here, hug your knees into your chest. Just observing what you notice. Nothing should be happening. Just staying present with what is. And we'll meet on all fours in a tabletop position. If you like to rock and roll along the length of your spine and that feels okay on your back, you might do this a couple of times. It's kind of fun, feels good. Play is good for the nervous system. Good for the heart. And we'll meet in tabletop position in four, in three, in two, and one. All fours. Keep your blocks if you've got them or whatever you have towards the top of your mat. We'll use them in a bit. Start to find a little bit of cat and cow here. So as you inhale, tip the, excuse me, tip your tailbone up, reach your heart forward. As you exhale, tuck the tailbone, send your heart through your upper back. Continue to move with your breath here, but originate this movement from the pelvis. So we just did all those pelvic tilts. Let your pelvis be the first thing that moves and then this undulation of your spine comes as a result of tipping the pelvis. And since our focus today is on the lower back and the outer hips, see if you can draw your attention to those areas of your body as you just move through this little rhythmic flow, just observing what there is to observe. Good, find stillness through your spine. If you have sensitive wrists, it might feel nice to rest your fists on the ground instead. We're just gonna step each foot back and kind of pump into the heel. This is just stretching out through the back of the leg since they were bent for a while and switch out other leg, just pumping. Whoosh, whoosh, pump, pump. <laughs> All right, awesome job. Have a seat. We're just gonna be seated for one shape here. so. Maybe you enjoy sitting on a block or whatever prop you have to lift your hips up. I find this more comfortable. You do you. We're just here with a long, tall spine. So we can check in with the neck. Drop one ear to one shoulder. Oof. And then drop your chin down to your chest, stretching along the back of the neck. And then other ear to other shoulder. 
You can spend some time moving between those three shapes. Maybe you experiment with opening and closing the jaw. If you're someone who enjoys the fine art of silent screaming, this is a great place to just check in with the tension in your face. Like, just try a silent scream. It feels so good. <laughs> nice, a couple more breaths here, just checking in with the neck. And when you're done evening out your sides, if you're sitting on a prop, you can set it off to the side. Last little movement here before we stand. Send your feet out wide in front of you. So feet are much wider than your hips. Hands are resting back behind you just for support here. Keep your chest puffed up and lifted. Drop your knees off to one side. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, knees to the other side. Find your flow here, inhaling to center and exhale, knees to the side. This is another moment to check in with what's going on in the outer hips today. When you do this, one hip is in external rotation and one is an in internal rotation. You might notice that the one in internal rotation like feels a little tighter. That's just a less common shape for us to put our hips in, especially those of us who work at desks all day or driving. So again, just these little mobility exercises. We're like not doing anything like super intense here. These just help introduce a wider range of motion and can overall help alleviate discomfort and tension through the hips over time. Try one more on each side. And to intensify this, if you do it on your own, flex your toes back towards your shin so your feet are active. Sweet. All right, when you are all done, we're gonna meet in downward facing dog. Blocks or props that you have are at the front of your mat. So down dog is where we meet. Hands are spread really wide, providing a strong base to balance on. You just start to pedal out through the feet. Stretching along the back of the legs. Bend your knees generously, lift your tailbone up towards the place where the ceiling and the wall meet behind you. You can give your head a little wiggle around if you sense that you're holding tension through the neck and shoulders. Take a big breath in here. Open mouth, exhale, let go. Good, inhale, look forward to your hands. Exhale, walk your feet up behind your hands. This is ragdoll pose. You might enjoy grabbing for the props you have in front of you just to make the earth a little more accessible. And you can do whatever feels good here. I invite you to find a little sway side to side in the hips. Helps you sense tension through the hamstrings. We're also getting into low back outer hips here. Bend your knees as much as feels good. <sighs> Good, and when you're all ready, we will roll up to stand. So if you like to roll up one vertebrae at a time, go for it for something a little more supportive, bring your hands to your thighs, and then lift yourself up. All right, we're gonna start moving, getting the blood pumping a little bit here. Doing great on time. Way to go, this watch, for keeping me honest. All right, we're gonna do something a little bit different to warm up. Um, through the hips here. Um, if you've taken class with me before, we do this sometimes. Um, this is called an exalted twist. It kind of gives you like the best of a twist, a back bend, and a side bend. So I'm going to demo first, and then I'll guide you through it. So you take a big breath in, we find star pose. So toes out, heels in, legs are wider, legs are strong. Exhale, hands to heart center, lengthen through the top of your head. And then inhale, star pose. Exhale, hands to heart. We weren't supposed to do that yet. Now we go into our exalted twist. Start with your right arm, sweep it across your body. Let your right toes turn in and then reach your right arm up and back. You might bring your left hand onto your hip or your lower back for support, but spend a moment here experimenting with lengthening across the front of the right hip and reaching up and maybe back through your top hand. And then as you exhale, you'll come back to center. On the other side, it's left hand sweeps across, left leg might follow. 
and then up and back. So this might look different in each of our bodies. We're looking for length across the front of the hip and expansion out through the fingertips, like long line of energy from the heel out through the fingers. And then exhale back to center. Let's do that once more kind of in the cadence that will flow. So as you inhale, sweep the right arm across, up and back. Exhale back to center, nice. Inhale, left arm up and back. Exhale, center, inhale, star pose, get big. Exhale, fold forward, draw your palms through heart center. You might bring your feet more parallel towards each other. Inhale, lift halfway, lengthen your spine. And as you exhale, turn your toes out, heels in, and find kind of like a high squat. This is like sort of like goddess pose, sort of like frog pose. We're not going to go like straight into a squat because we're still warming up. So just find a little dynamic movement here. We're like hands on the hips for support if that feels good, high or low. Starting to uh, check in with the range of motion through the hips, the external rotation available today. You might feel some strength through the thighs, solidity through the feet, feeling really stable and strong here. And then we will flow through this two more times, matching breath to movement. So find stillness at the center. Inhale, star pose, press up, strong legs. Exhale, hands to heart. To the right, inhale, sweep, or to sweep your right arm up and back. Exhale, center. Inhale, sweep the left arm up and back. Exhale, center, good. Inhale, star, lift your chest. Exhale, fold forward, feet are parallel, palms through heart center. Inhale, halfway lift, long spine. Exhale, toes out, heels in, finding some movement here. Maybe it feels good to go like an inch lower, maybe not. Continue to breathe here. Think about keeping your spine long and your chest lifted. If that means that you're squatting less deeply, that's okay. Find stillness at the center. Let's go one more time through. Inhale, star, press up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach the right arm up and back, exalted twist. Exhale, center. Inhale, sweep the left arm up and back. Exhale, center. Inhale, star, reach your heart up. Exhale, fold forward, hands to heart. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, your high goddess squat. Two options here. If this like side to side movement is what's feeling great, you can stick with it. Or you can introduce a gentle twist. Keep it easy. We're still warming up. Inhale, puff up your chest. Exhale, drop one shoulder, gaze over the other. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist the other way, nice and easy. You don't need to crank the spine. Let's do one more time each side, inhale. And exhale, I just realized I'm combining the side to side movement with the twist, which is, you know, I guess an option that you could do. Sometimes movement is just easier than stillness. Who's with me? Good, now we do find stillness at the center. Inhale, star pose all the way up, strong legs. Exhale, hands to heart center. <sighs> Amazing. Turn to face the front short edge of your mat. We're going to move on to a, another flow that will start to maybe make you sweat a little bit. I'm going to give lots of options. You can find what's going to be best for you today. And maybe that's different than if you do this video another day. There's no judgment. There's only accepting what is, which is something I tell myself all the time. Okay, so your feet are parallel. As you inhale, sink your butt down and back, we're finding chair pose. Continue to breathe. Bring your hands to your outer thighs. I should say first, chair pose can look really different. Maybe you like to keep your feet totally together, your thighs touching, that's great. Maybe more of like a, a power squat feels just better in the knees, better in the back. So feet can be as wide as feels right to you. Bring your hands to your outer thighs. Push your knees out 
and then meet that resistance with your hands pushing them back in. So feel that counter resistance. You should feel your glutes, your outer hips firing up. Keep that resistance as you move your palms back to heart center or reach them up and forward. Hug your tummy. I shouldn't have said that. Hug your core up and in. Sorry, we're all like on learning all sorts of shit about our bodies all the time, aren't we? We are. And we're just holding here. I'm just talking on purpose to mask how long this is. You're doing amazing. If you feel pain or discomfort in your low back, try tucking your tailbone underneath you like 1%. See how that feels. See if you might reach your hips like one centimeter further back. Igniting the hamstrings here, outer hips still working, quads working, glutes working. Take a big breath in. Exhale, chair plane, legs stay as they are, fingertips come backwards. Imagine you're hugging a big beach ball behind you. Lift your heart up and forward. Big transition here to one leg mountain. Inhale, lift the left leg up. So we're balancing on the right leg, one leg mountain. Hold and breathe here. You can stay just like this. There's the option to move on to two other dynamic movements in this balancing shape. If you wanna stay here, grow more stable through both legs. So you might visualize roots growing out of the right foot. Flex your left toes back towards your shins. You can make your whole lifted leg really solid. And then focus on finding the longest, tallest spine and proudest chest that you can. Your whole body is working to hold you here. Hands might be at heart center or reaching up. Invitation to stay. If you want to move forward, breathe in. As you exhale, standing figure four across your left ankle over the right knee, sink your butt back. Big stretch for the outer left hip. Still holding and breathing here. It's okay to be wobbling. It's okay if you fall out of it, just get right back in. Keep your spine long. Inhale, one leg mountain, option to stay. Exhale, option to find a curtsy squat. So take your left foot back and out. You might kickstand the foot on the ground. You might experiment whoop, with letting it hover. This is a lot of work for the right leg. You're doing amazing. Inhale, one leg mountain back to center. Exhale, everyone step back to high crescent lunge. Left foot goes back. Good, you can take a minute here, like straighten. <laughs> the right leg say thank you right glute for being my champion for that 90 seconds and then solidify your high crescent lunge feet are on parallel track the headlights of your front of your hips are pointing forward maybe there's a little bend in the back knee inhale warrior two windmill open long uh, pinky edge of your back foot is parallel to the short edge of the mat Hug your heels in towards each other, like you could scrunch up your mat beneath you. Gaze down at your right leg. If the knee is sickled in, try to actively point it out more towards the pinky toe. You might even rotate your foot a little more out to make that more accessible in your body. We're really working external rotation and right hip. Send your arms out long and strong. Relax your face, relax your shoulders. Imagine you could stretch Armstrong your hands like five inches longer each. Good, breathe in here. Exhale, extended side angle. Option to rest the right arm on your thigh. You reach your top arm up and overhead. An invitation here for a little bit of chest opening. If you're resting the right arm on your thigh, as you inhale, Yep, inhale, bend your left elbow, opening your chest up towards the sky. And as you exhale, send the left arm long overhead. Inhale, bend the elbow, open up. Exhale, close. Find three more of those on your own. There's no wrong way to do it. If it's feeling nice through the shoulder, through the chest, then that's great. And if this isn't working for you, skip it. Whew. Man, this right leg, really getting a workout. You're doing amazing. Good, inhale, straighten the front leg, reverse triangle. Pin your right big toe down to the mat. Reach your right fingertips up, 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 maybe back. 
And as you exhale, all toes point towards the long edge of your mat. Whoop yourself down, wide leg forward fold. Toes are slightly in, heels are out. Again, it might feel good to bring your blocks a little closer by for support in this fold. You got about 15 seconds here to find whatever feels best to you. That might be stillness, that might be um, again, kind of like a little lateral lunging like we were doing in that high squat earlier. Just continue to breathe. Good. Return to center. Inhale, lift halfway in your spine. Exhale, low lunge towards the right foot, towards the right foot. Frame the right foot with your hands, or you might bring both hands inside the right foot for a little more room. As you inhale, step the right leg all the way back, high plank. And exhale, lower to your knees, then lower all the way down to your belly with control. Press your palms into the mat, slide them down towards your lowest ribs. Cricket your elbows together. Inhale, cobra pose. Peel your heart up and forward. Breathe and hold here. Lengthen the back of your neck. Imagine you're squeezing a quarter between your shoulder blades. Relax your face. Breathe in. Exhale, lower. Let's do three more of those right here. Inhale, cobra pose. Back of the neck is long. Exhale, fold. Inhale, cobra, lift the heart up and forward. Exhale, lower, nice job. Last one, inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower, beautiful job. Inhale, tabletop, press up. Exhale, downward, facing dog. Good, we're gonna repeat that whole sequence on this side, nice and slow. And then that'll be it for the hardest part of class. We're getting lots of slow burn work for these muscles, a lot of stability from the long hold. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Walk to meet your hands. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, chair pose. Sink your butt down and back. Reach your fingertips forward or bring them to heart center. Do your best before we move our hands onto our legs to find that engagement through the outer hips. There's nothing wrong with using your hands for some biofeedback, but see if you can remember the way that felt from the first time and re-engage that hug of the outer hips in, the hug of your core up and in, and the length of your spine. Now bring your hands down to your thighs outside your knees, press your knees out, Press them back in with your hands. Feel the glutes engaging. You can even like give them a little poke to be like, hey, wake up, wake up. And then find the place for your arms that feels most supportive. We're really focusing on the legs here today. So keeping the spine nice and long. Whew. Again, if this is like ah, for the low back, try tucking the tailbone like 1%. And if that's just not doing it, you can come up out of it. You don't have to be in such a low squat. This is still work for the legs. It doesn't have to look like you're skiing down a mountain. Inhale here. Exhale, chair plane, send the fingertips back, squeeze the beach ball, lift your heart up. Here comes the transition. Inhale, lift your right leg, one leg mountain with as much control as you can muster. And as you exhale, stay and breathe here. Totally cool to stay in this spot. Grow roots through the left foot. Flex your right toes back towards your shin, strong through this lifted right leg. Option to stay, option to move on, breathe in. Exhale, figure four, cross the right ankle over the left knee, sink your hips back. You might keep your hands at your heart. It might feel good to bring your hands onto your legs for a little bit more support. Again, there's no like wrong way to do this. And if your balance is a lot more challenged on this side, it's great to observe that. Remove the judgment. We're asymmetrical beings. It is okay. Inhale, one leg mountain, return to center. 
Option to stay or as you exhale, curtsy squat. This time right leg comes back and off to the side. Maybe a little kickstand. Maybe you play with the hover. Really turn on the underside of your thigh here, your hamstrings, your glutes. Ah. Keep your spine long. You're doing amazing. Couple more breaths here. I know it's tough. I'm right here with you. Good. Inhale, one leg mountain. Come back to center. As you exhale, step the right foot back, high crescent lunge. A moment of reprieve here. You can straighten this leg. Whew. Whew. And then inhale, warrior two. Windmill open. Strong back leg, strong front leg. Knee is tracking more towards the middle, the ring finger, the pinky toe. You might imagine you could scrunch up your mat beneath you, or you might imagine you could tear it apart by pushing both feet out. Neither one of those ways of engaging is better. They're just different. There's value in trying them both. Send your arms out long. Imagine you could lengthen your wingspan here. Send your breath out through your fingertips. Give them a wiggle. Feel the aliveness. Inhale. Exhale, extended side angle. I'm offering the variation where we rest the hand on the thigh. This gives us the opportunity to play with a little shoulder opening here. So as you inhale, bend your right elbow, stretching across the front of the shoulder, opening the chest. And as you exhale, close, but reach long. You might feel a stretch along your side body or your hip. Again, you might not. Let's do three more, inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale, last one. Legs are burning, you can do it. Inhale. And exhale. Here we go, stand up, straighten the front leg, reverse triangle. Enjoy the feeling of blood returning to the leg. And as you exhale, Pivot the left toes in, swoop yourself all the way down, wide leg forward fold. Find whatever you need here, 15 seconds to enjoy having your head beneath your heart. This is an inversion, it doesn't have to be an arm balance or a fancy pose, this is doing the trick. Then return to center if you've moved around at all. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, low lunge towards the left foot. Feet are, or hands are on the inside of the foot or each hand frames the foot. If you inhale, high plank, step backwards, you got it. Exhale, lower to your knees, lower down with control. And we'll do three more cobras here. Inhale, cobra pose, roll the shoulders up, back and down. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra, press your toenails into the mat. Exhale, lower, last one. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, lower. Inhale, tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog, lift the hips. Take a couple of breaths here. This is our last down dog of practice. There's something you like to do that we haven't gotten to do yet today. Maybe you like to like kick one leg up and like open your hips. Maybe just more pedaling out through the legs feels like what your lower body needs today. Find it here. Mm. And when you're ready, walk your hands back towards your feet. So we're in a forward fold, hands towards the feet. Turn your toes out, heels in. Frog pose, Malasana. Lots of options here. If you're like, I got it, this feels fine on my knees. Do your thing. 
If this is a lot for the knees or the hips, you've got blocks or that mixing bowl. Try sitting on them, seeing how the support feels. You can still get awesome opening through the hips that lift through the heart. You could also, there's not a wall behind me, so I cannot show you this, but doing this against a wall, especially on the blocks, is just like such a grounding feeling. It feels so supportive and good. If you've never tried it, honestly try it. This is a pretty big hip opener. We've been working all of class to get us to this moment where the body's been prepared to do this. You might bring your palms to touch at heart center, using your elbows to gently hug the knees open. Maybe fists together feels better. Option to close your eyes or just find a point non-moving on the floor in front of you. Take four big, slow breaths here, cultivating feeling of openness physically through the hips, but maybe even Energetically, there's a softening or an opening or a receptivity. You might intentionally think about calling to mind. If it feels good to stay here, you can. To come out of it, if it feels good to just press yourself up to stand, you can. I'm gonna show you the really sexy transition where you just kind of like crawl onto the floor and so bring your hands onto the ground. One knee comes down first and then the other. We will meet in a seated position with your legs out long in front of you. Flex your toes back towards your shin. You might wiggle out some flesh from underneath you so you feel your sit bones rooted. Inhale, reach your fingertips high. Exhale, hinge at the hips, reaching forward. If it feels much better to round through the spine here, you can do that, but see how it feels to keep your spine long. You might bend your knees even more. This is what helps kind of focus on lower back stretching. If you wanna curl through the spine, you'll get a lot of hamstrings, that's still great. Start to make your exhales a little longer than your inhales, sending messages to your body that it's time to rest and wind down. And we roll back up to a tall seat. Two options for our last two stretches. The first is kind of a, a softer variation of fire log pose. Fire log is where you like stack your, nobody's hips can really do this. Um, just cross one leg in front of the other. It doesn't matter which one. And start to crawl your fingertips forward, like little suction cups on the earth. And just find a little bit of like gentle rocking side to side. Notice how this feels through the low back, through the outer hips. This is really uncomfortable for you. Bring something underneath your hips to lift them up. A block might be too much, but if you have like a blanket you could fold, that might help make this more comfortable. Suction cup your fingertips back up to a seat, switch the cross of your legs. We'll do the same thing here. Notice what feels different from side to side with the opposite leg cross. You might even play with crawling your hands all the way to one side and then the other. And then return to your seated position. Make your way all the way down onto your back. Find happy baby pose, feet up towards the sky. Grab for whatever is most accessible. Maybe you're rocking side to side, still 
kind of like at the beginning of practice, noticing how the lower back and outer hips feel. This is in some ways like a little massage. And if there's anything else that you feel your body asking for as we prepare for a brief rest, find it now. And when you feel ready, hug your knees to center. Bring your no nose up towards your knees. If this doesn't feel good on your back. Keep your spine long, just hug the knees in, take a big breath, compressing all your joints. And as you exhale, find your final Shavasana. Legs can be however feels good. If your lower back needs a little more support, try broken bridge where feet are wide, knees knock together. And since our Shavasana is a little shorter today, I'm gonna leave you in silence the whole time. Do two minutes, I set a timer. I will say, if you find that your mind is wandering, scan your body from head to toe, releasing each body part like snow melting into water as you pass by it. Halfway there, if you find your mind is wandering, it's okay, just guide it gently back to the sensations in your body and the feeling of your breath as many times as you need to. If it feels good to rest like this, please stay as long as you can. If you're ready to be guided out, start to deepen your breath and bring a little movement to your fingers and toes, gently reawakening. Eventually you might find yourself in a big full body stretch, taking a moment to appreciate the space the ease, any sense of relief or a shift that you feel through your body or your mind. Roll onto one side, gently press yourself up to a tall seat. And we'll end with three big breaths together. Find something comfortable for you, long, Tall spine, inhale, reach your fingertips up high, maybe look up. Exhale, hands to heart, sigh it out. Again, like that big breath in, reach up high. Big breath out, release. Last time, big breath in. And big breath out to let go. Lift your thumbs to third eye center. May all beings everywhere be happy, healthy, safe, and free. Thank you so much for sharing this practice. All right, that's our 45 minutes. Thank you so much for coming to class. If you have requests, about future class, let me know. Um, otherwise, we'll be back with another 45 minute practice next week. So, 
I'll see you then. Thank you again for being here. Bye.